Hi, this is Amy from the Alti store. We are starting a new series of videos today that is going to go over the fundamentals of solar uh, design and installation. So we're going to start uh, very basic and we'll build our way up and we'll go through all the different components of a solar system. So we're going to start at the very beginning. It's a very good place to start. Um, and we're going to go over some of the basic terms. So this is going to be um, a different combination of some PowerPoint presentations, some demos in the shop, some demos outside. So we're going to just really go through a whole bunch of different uh, things here. So if we start with the very basics, we're going to be discussing the terms that we use to describe electricity and, and solar systems. So electricity is the movement of electrons. And we're basically going to be talking about having a power source. In these examples, it's going to be a battery. And it's the electricity is traveling along the conductor, the wires, going through a load, um, and then back into the batteries. So uh, to do that, we have to talk about four basic terms to talk about the, the different rates of energy. So um, volts is the amount of potential energy. So it's very similar to water pressure. It's the higher the differential, the higher the pressure. So the volts is what pushes the electrons through the wire. So uh, with water, if you have a really small waterfall, you're just going to have not that much flow. But if you have a much higher waterfall, you're going to have a lot more pressure. So that's the same with, um, with electricity. The higher the voltage, the bigger the push, the higher the flow. So here you can see the difference between two points of the, uh, the circuit between the zero volts at the negative and the 12 volts at the positive. We've got a 12 volt differential. Now amps is the rate of current. It is the rate of flow, how fast the electrons are moving. So again, similar to water flow gallons or liters per minute. How fast is the water flowing? How fast are the electrons flowing through the circuit? Watts is actually a rate of energy. It's how much work. It's the combination of volts and amps. Volts times amps equals watts. So how much effort did it take for that water to turn that water wheel? Um, if you have either higher pressure or higher flow, you'll make it spin faster. So same with, with uh, electricity. If you have higher voltage or higher amps, you're going to have higher watts and you're going to be able to get more work done, make the fan spin faster or make the light shine brighter. So watts is how much of that energy is needed in order to accomplish that work. And then the fourth item that uh, comes into play quite a bit, but we don't actually use it a ton in a lot of our equations, but it's resistance, it, which is the opposition to flow. So it's the volts divided by amps. Back to the water analogy, the smaller the pipe, the, the less flow you're going to have. So with electricity, the smaller wire or the greater resistance, you're going to have less flow. So with a hose, you know, if you put your finger over over it or if you kink the hose, you're going to be blocking the flow. So same with resistance. The resistance of ohms, that will, will reduce the flow of the amps. So Ohm's law is a series of, of equations that show how those four terms are interconnected. So for instance, you can increase the power or the watts by increasing either the volts or the amps or by decreasing the resistance. So again, uh, back to water, you can, you can get more energy from, you can get the, the water to do more work if you increase the flow or the pressure, or if you make the pipes bigger, you're gonna be decreasing the resistance. And so therefore you're going to be able to get more energy through that pipe. So here we see the Ohm's wheel. This shows how 
watts, amps, volts, and resistance are all interconnected. So just to go through a few examples, watts equals volts times amps. And then amps equals watts divided by volts. Volts equals watts divided by amps. And then ohms, or resistance, is volts divided by amps. So we'll use some combination of all of these equations when we're calculating out, say, how much solar you need or how many batteries you need. All of these terms will, will come into play when you're, you're figuring out your system. This is probably a good place for us to take a break. So now that we've talked about rates, the next video we're going to talk about quantity, how much energy. So the link to that is going to be at the end of this video. If you did like this video, give us a like and a share and be sure to subscribe so that you know when, when the next videos come out. And don't forget to go to our website at altistore.com where we've been making renewable doable since 1999.